Another contest already? Lay on me, which one are we talking about? Ah, uh, well... Pop quiz! Do you know about a game for the PS2 that's like if you fused via duct tape? Spores Creature Maker! Thick off the abilities and cuteness factor of Kirby! And gameplay kind of like Banjo-Kazooie! You would get, besides a giant waste of duct tape, and a bunch of annoyed gameplay mechanics, Graffiti Kingdom for the PS2. Please tell me if you've heard of this game. It's wonderfully, incredibly incredible, and it's my favorite PS2 game, but no one really knows about it. And here's why I think it's wonderfully wonderful. The gameplay is incredible, in my opinion. Yes, it's your typical action RPG adventure platformer, but with a fun twist where you create your own characters. But you can make anything, which is the best part of the game. And you can unlock stuff to make it so you can do more with it. Wanna make the player character be riding a My Little Pony Segway? Sure, go for it! Wanna make Kirby? Sure, go for it. Wanna make what's gonna be in your nightmares for the next week? Sure, go for it. And even if you're as original as a pile of mud, you can still have fun with Mr. Stick Figure Man with a flaming sword. In my opinion, the graphics are wonderful, but I really don't recommend you play this game and Kirby in the same day. You're gonna have a cuteness overload. I love the sound effects and the soundtrack. It's a little box of awesome sauce, but um, it has my favorite final boss theme of any video game. Oh, speaking of the bosses, the bosses are really good in my opinion. They're enjoyable, they're fun, they're entertaining, they're well thought out, and I like them. And there's a fun boss battle mode that you'll get. There's not much really to the plot. Prince is bored, Prince explores, Prince finds a seal, unseals it, demon pops out, all hell breaks loose. And then he needs to go save everyone and their ponies. But what really makes it for me are the characters. They're three-dimensional, they're entertaining, they're enjoyable, they're engaging. I love them. I would love to see an anime OVA of this game, or a downright sequel, just to see all the characters are doing. That's saying something. And oh, their voice acting's total cheese ball, which adds to the experience, in my opinion. Disagree if you want. We got the course Prince Pixel, which is kinda lazy, but brave at the same time. We got a wise old mentor box dog, called Pastel. And of course, we got the gender-confused, black star look-alike, Tablet. And that's the tip of the iceberg rolling to the characters. There's more, lots more. This game has really fun, well thought out, and creative levels. Well, you got your usual castles and stuff, but you also have outer space, Toyland, Palette's Palace. And these are just a couple of reasons why, in my opinion, this game's so incredible. But it's sad, nobody really knows about this game or talks about it, which makes me sad. And also blows my mind that nobody talks about this game. It just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. It just. Oh great, my mind's been blown.